Hungry? Grab a Snickers. Peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. That ought to hold you. Hungry? Grab a Snickers! Terror aliens meet the thing from one billion years B.C. 11. <laughs> the size of those things. Look out. Beings from another planet. Our weapons are useless. Sorry, folks. This horror movie just isn't scary enough. Ah, refreshment. Mm -hmm. カルビー。カルコン新発売。ウスワジとビーフアジ。カルビー。カルコン新発売。あなたをリスクから守るのは三井住友海上の GK。これのせいで守ってもらいたいって依頼が減ってるんだね。カメラ。怒ってる三井住友海上の GKシリーズ負けないであなたをリスクから守るのは三井住友海上の GK。気にしないでみんなカメラに守ってほしいんだ。僕は断然堀北さんの GKだな。三井住友海上の GKシリーズ出てきな
the most amazing, astounding, astonishing adventure of them all, beyond anything your mind can imagine, never before seen on the screen. a gorilla that's constantly growing to outlandish proportions loose in the streets. Conga, born of a scientist's dreams, bred on a madman's nightmares, brought out of the jungle and turned into a wild beast beyond man's understanding. I am your master and you must obey me. Now you no longer have any Starring Michael Goff as Dr. Decker, who stole the jungle secrets of sorcery to distill Satan's black magic in his own laboratory. Margot Johns as the girl who becomes an accessory to murder, with Claire Gordon as the young student. Trapped with a madman in a nightmare world of fear, jealousy and passion. Let me go! Sandra, you know I loved you! The jungle scene of colour, excitement and spectacle is thrillingly mixed with the close mystery of strange insectivorous and carnivorous plants. See them. Fear them. And feel the anger and the anguish of Jess Conrad in a picture charged with powerful emotion. You Conga, the most fantastic beast of all time. Not since King Kong has a screen exploded with such mighty fury and spectacle. In the new process of spectamation and Eastman color, he grows in size and terror before your eyes. In a film that fills the screen with giant entertainment. below the sea. What a sight. Deeper than you've ever been before is a place you will never forget. Here is the greatest undersea adventure of all time. Warlords of Atlantis. Here, Doug McClure and the crew of the exploration ship Texas Rose battle against the clock to escape a strange creature-filled city beneath the sea. That looks like a great way to get killed. You cannot escape. Warlords of Atlantis. We're trapped! Oh, come on, jump! Warlords of Atlantis. An incredible tale of terror and suspense above and below the sea. Kodomo Tachi ga Diorama no Seisak ya Satsue nado ni chousen shita Tokusatsu Eiga no Shishakai ga Fukushima Ken Sukagawa shi de hirakare mashita. Sukagawa shi yakusho de hirakare ta Shishakai ni wa Sanka shita Chukou Sei ya Hogo Sha nado およそ50人が参加しました
作品は、よろいがという怪獣の卵が神社で発見され、卵から帰った怪獣が暴れて、市役所などを壊していくという内容です。特殊撮影技術の第一人者で、円谷英二さんの出身,出身地として知られている須賀川市。市では子どもたちに特撮に興味を持ってもらおうと、去年6月から特撮塾を企画し、子どもたちが半年ほどかけて、専門のスタッフとジオラマや着ぐるみの制作、それに撮影や映像の編集などに挑戦してきました。今日の試写会の後、子どもたちは特撮塾の講師を務めた映画監督の田口清隆さんから卒業証書が手渡されました。もともと恐竜が好きで、とそれで怪獣のデザインもさせていただいて本当に楽しかったです。特撮塾みたいな子どもたちとの関わりもそうですし、本当にこういうことがいろいろ発展していけたらいいなと思います。昔、一人の男がやってきて、日の当たらぬ冷たい岸辺に立ち、大海原の轟きの中でこう言った。この水を越えて彼らの船に警告する声が必要だ。私はそういう声を作ろう。ここの暮らしにはいい加減なれたろうええマクタさんが話好きでよかった実はこの季節になると灯台を訪問するやつがいデ
there were some bizarre moments. For instance, uh, when the dog was in the big ravine, a fiberglass model of the ravine was made, placed in the, for in the forefront, and then uh, Jim Dale and myself were on the roof of a car park about uh, 400 yards away. Look. So they're quite basic effects in those days. And most of the time in a, in a studio is just surrounded with, you know, blue walls and that, that would have the dog's face put onto it later. Look at the size of him. Hey, why does everybody hate Digby? He wouldn't hurt a fly. All the army were going to kill him and all that, and we had, like, one, 24 hours to save the dog. And so I was thrown into his mouth, basically, to pour the antidote in. A massive polystyrene mouth was made with the, the fiberglass teeth and a great big foam rubber tongue with various people behind the scenes pouring water to keep the tongue wet and sloppy and everything. And I had to crawl into that, pour this great big demijohn of antidote down this uh, dog's throat. Well, Billy, that's about all we can do now. The audience has lapped it up. Haha, <laughs> if you uh, pardon the pun. Uh, they really got into it, you know, which was nice in the spirit of the thing. The antidote worked! So everyone lived happily ever after, and the film became a bank holiday TV favourite. Now, uh, Paul Fries, in an interview he did for... Sir, Paul Freeman! Damn it, Paul Freeman! <laughs> So, but other than that, Paul Freeze has nothing but glowing memories about this convention. I met Paul Freeze was long dead yeah. before this movie was filmed. <laughs> Anyways, I met Paul Freeman briefly at Power Morphicon. Are you sure it wasn't the corpse of Paul Freeze? <laughs> <laughs> I dug him out of the ground. No, gross. You're too kind. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm the galactically feared, globally reviled, universally despised. They call me Ivan Ooze. Well, pack your bags, because we're sending you right back where you came from. Gee, a teenager with a big mouth. Not much has changed in 6,000 years. You obviously don't know who you're dealing with, Mr. Brazenhead. Really? Yeah, we're the Power Rangers. Where's my autograph book? Ah! <laughs> Power Rangers, huh? So, Zordon's still using a bunch of kids to do his dirty work. <laughs> well, meet my kids. From this moment forth, the world as you know it shall cease to exist. Welcome to my nightmare! <laughs> you are walking motorway challenge machine or still gun. Yatta! Die jump! Challenge machine! Hope you're seeing hats by. ハリケーン大作戦ゴー。今ハリケーン遊びが大流行。ポピーのチャレンジマシンを買うとハリケーンボールが必ずもらえるよ。お店で機械券をもらってね。ポピーハリケーン大作戦実施中。オレンジャース
you will see the wonders of this strange and terrifying world when you see the angry red planet. Join this daring crew, the first in the scientific race between nations to attempt to land on Mars. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire. Blast off from Earth with courageous astronauts, Gerald Moore, Nora Hayden, Les Tremaine, Jack Crucian, travel thousands of miles through space to the unknown. <coughs> Cinemagic is not being shown to you now, but this wild land comes alive in Cinemagic. You'll see buildings miles high in Cinemagic. Journey to the center of sudden terror in Cinemagic. Be trapped by the tentacles of man-devouring plants in Cinemagic. Feel the fire-hot breath of a 40-foot monster as it reaches for you in Cinemagic. Your eyes will see the wonders of a world no eyes in this world have ever seen before. I wonder, will we ever get back to Earth? Uh, let's see. Um, Raph brought up uh, who is Ultraman Galaxian Zongo? The the th the friend <laughs> has his little brother three times removed from the cancel manga series Mega Monster Kaiju Bumper Roundhouse. Honestly, I think the who is Ultraman like third little brother. I think that was one of the questions because it was like been the brother. It's like get the show. <laughs> is it A Zagoo Zagoo <laughs> Number B, Zrap Bing Bing. <laughs> C, da 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 <laughs> D, Zilla Groff. Oh, <laughs> Raph would have done a better job than Sheen Michaels. <laughs> also, is it weird that he's like the main green guy? <laughs> you doing okay, Yak, now? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't okay. drink during these things. You gotta... <laughs> Or at least hold the laptop level. And so just like, yeah, it's clearly. <laughs> Judge Game's like, the answer is clearly A. <laughs> Obviously. I get, everybody should post what their scores were if they win. Like how well they did on this quiz. <laughs> ことによって身長2000メートルの巨人電エースに変身する こんなにやりがとしかし読んでる暇がないんで燃やすトライドンとデンエースの戦いで日本は壊滅寸前だそこにデンエースの久々が炸裂する
求人力がとっても強いナショナル掃除機はやぶさどんどんゴミを吸い込む回転治療都市そしてゴミを袋ごと捨てられるダストパック式はやぶさはやぶさガッズラ What'd you get here? Hold on! Hold on! で狂獣を育てよガルガのこの戦略転換に戦いは一変した打ち続く怪事件にファミリーの結束は崩れかかっただが僕たちは呼びかけよう負けるなファミリー新たな試練だ次回は狂獣基地地球へ侵入奥多摩山中に見た狂獣の一大集合ガルガ狂獣一体7万とそれが街中に隠されたあのカプセルがみんな居住に戻ったらピンチだ次回は製鉄ゾーンゴジラ対居住連合軍機械な隕石それはガルガの挑戦状であった物理学教授寺村家の少年ヒロシはテレパシー光線によって操られるロボットには爆弾が仕込まれたプロトンエネルギーが危ない次回恐怖の襲撃ガルガロボットをお楽しみに小僧お前たちはガロガになるのださあ大変だガロガは君たちを狙っている教授ゴランは君を飲み込むのだゾボットそうゾボットでファイターを呼べ来週の流星人間ゾーンはこの老心師をマークしろ Can you spell dog? F -O -F. Look at this dinosaur book It's a pop-up dinosaur book Wouldn't you like to have a dinosaur book like that? Darkness, the twinkle and shine, the air.
was an ordinary postman. Until an incredible creature appeared. Changing his dull life forever. I, I don't know how much longer we'll be able to... Ah! If you fail, you and your entire civilization will be destroyed. Now, it's up to Tommy. Hold it! I'll drop it! I'm armed! And I have a hostage! A beautiful cryptozoologist. He's a postal worker! A mad scientist. I prefer cybernaut. And a little luck to find a way to destroy it. Citizens of Earth, beware. <laughs> and get ready to meet Zarkor, the invader. to Earth. About a year and a half ago, I did a short film about a giant fish destroying Tokyo, trying to capture the same flair of the Japanese giant monster movies of the 60s, which when I grew up, I loved the great. Um, based on that, and having the producers seeing that, they decided I was the right person to work on Zarkor. I found myself wearing a lot of hats. Not only was I designing the effects, coming up with the sequences, I was also shooting most of the sequences, lighting the sets, um, and basically organizing all the various uh, uh, office managerial administration things at the same time. There are many times where I'd be sitting there calling action behind the camera, working on a dolly move at the same time while some of the other crew members would of course like operate the effects and let the monster go through his paces. Hi, I'm the biggest Ultraman fan in the world, so I think all, every Ultraman monster in the world had inspired me. And I had worked as a designer before I directed and had actually designed some of the Ultraman shows. The ones shot here in the United States, and I was pretty, pretty huge fan of that kind of stuff, so it was a natural thing, a kind of dream. For the most part, it was me and uh, John Fidel, who also played the monster in uh, the movie. We built basically all of the sets, all of the miniatures, and rigged up all the effects ourselves. And then what we do is when we have a big shoot day, I bring in a crew of like uh, six or eight other people that, were, that have done this type of thing before, knew what they were doing, and that way we can actually shoot all of these things out at one time. It's very cool. I love Godzilla. I love more than anything in the world. So I couldn't refuse to work on this. It was excellent being in the suit. You know, I couldn't, like Mike said, I couldn't see much. So when this take was over, I could only see what was directly in front of me. But I knew everyone was having a good time because look, everyone after the take was screaming cool and all that. So I imagine it was very cool. We saw the dailies and it was very cool. He really had the Zarkor hand swipe and and tail wag down to a fine art. If you watch as Zarkor kind of trashes through the town, his his tail is um his tail hand motion is 
is it's almost like a ballet. I, I think that the Joffrey should watch Sarkor because they could probably pick up some pretty slick moves. <laughs> shooting monsters. There's a trick to the camera angles of shooting monsters. Now, as you see right now, the camera is in a very classic monster position, also used in Citizen Kane, when you want to make people look like monsters. But as you can see, as I approach towards camera, I am hitting that is a very good monster approach. Now you can also, camera, could you go high up right now, please? Thank you. This is also another very good, as the monster's trashing through town and you can have like the little miniature people down there screaming and running through the use of wonderful special effects. Another great monster has come very close up. This is a very good monster. Notice the hands, the fear, great. The thing that's super exciting about Monster Island Entertainment is they're bringing us like the big picture movie monsters, which we have not seen since like the early 60s. And it is a treat to see them finally back. ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ。ガメラ
This versatile star leaves audiences spellbound as he plays a fire-breathing dragon one moment and a flying saucer the next. We see terrible things if we live too long. Get ready for lights, action, camera. The newest cult classic star on your VCR returns in glittering color. Hey, it's Gamera! Gamera! Yes, Gamera's back by popular demand to share the spotlight with a tough new contender. Witness the fury as our fire-breathing screen star gets the cold shoulder from the new kid on the block. Oh my god. Savor the action as the rookie Baragon delivers the full spectrum of destruction to his hard-shelled opponent in this thunderous spectacle of epic proportions. What skills! What strength! What a tale! It's the colossal clash that's kept the world trembling. Gamera's back and Baragon's got him. In Gamera versus Baragon. It's the blockbuster that takes you to a whole new height in filmmaking excitement. The unprecedented spectacle that unleashes a mind-blowing array of special effects, electrifying drama, and a bold new mode of cinematic style, starring the tough guy turtle from another world. Along with a fresh new face from the latest wave of Brat Pack performers who's flying his way to the top of Tinseltown. Is that the bird or is it a reptile? They just call it a monster. Catch the full impact as these two dynamic stars make motion picture history in this thunderous spectacle of epic proportions. It's a big one. It's Gamera versus Gauss. race for outer space backfires as Earth becomes the next target of the evil extraterrestrial Sigra. We must conquer them. This high-tech wizard reveals his savage plot to conquer the planet. I shall cause the greatest earthquake the world has ever witnessed. Men, women, and children have lost all remaining hope of salvation until... Look, up in the sky, it's... Yes, it's Gamera, the gigantic turtle from another world. And who, cleverly disguised as a flaming flying saucer, stands for peace, truth, and the death of Sigra. Well, guys, what do you think? Barbaric. Savage. It's a close encounter of dueling aliens. A war of the stars. It's Gamera versus Sigra. And it's a shoo-in for a sequel. As I told you before, Just for Kids has a lot of kids in the store. Almost too many to tell you about. You know what we did? We put out a tape called the Just for Kids Sampler Collection. It has scenes from over 20 Just for Kids movies and shows like Siebert, Fluffers, G.I. Joe, and a lot more. It's a lot of fun to watch. And the ugly kid, who's the host, isn't bad if I must say so myself. Well, that's it for now. Remember to show your parents the coupon in the video box for your free Just for Kids tape. Hope you had fun. See you later.
see you here at 12, okay? Okay? Okay. Hey, maybe Croker won't even come. Maybe he'll forget. You don't know Croker. Poor evil alien conquerors. Are you ready, giant Croker? Oh, no! If they have failed, destroy them with your giant sword. If they have succeeded, destroy them anyway. Yes! Pin him! Goodbye. Ah! <laughs> One thing I wonder about, Great Trapier. Why didn't you send Croker in the first place? Shut up! can I get you? <laughs> it would take a thousand of your tiny meals to slake my gigantic appetite. You might like one of our special value meals. What? Your tiny voice barely reaches my huge ears. We got the hickory burger on special 429. I tell you, your puny foodstuffs could not begin to fill my enormous belly. We got another one, Mr. Green. <clears throat> Can I help you? I am Kroger the Merciless! I came to destroy your planet and squash it beneath my mighty foot! But first, where are my Ick and Dog? You don't have to yell, okay, buddy? I can hear you just fine. I will crush you like a bug! Ah! 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 All right, that's it. Ah! You're out of here. Are you Kroger? I don't care who you are. Get the hell out of here. What is that? This is my mighty giant ray gun. Give me a break. You should probably uh, talk to Kenny about those other guys.